<laughs> All right. Welcome back, everybody, to Model Mindset. Today's guest is Clayton Cordo, who is owner of Bare Bones Boxing. And Clayton grew up in Manchester, Connecticut, multi sport athlete, right? Oh, yeah. Went to Curry College, captain the men's soccer team. Captain my senior year. All conference. All conference. Graduated with a degree in criminal justice. And then you went to corporate America. I did, yeah. But it wasn't your cup of tea. It was not my cup of tea. <laughs> so then you decided to go to the Guard. Yep, joined the Army National Guard when so I was pick, 25. Yeah. Can we pick it up from there? Like, what what was it that you decided to join the Guard? And, and was it something about corporate America where you're like, eh, it's not for me? Yeah, so I wanted to join the military right after high school. My parents were like, go to college. Yeah. Go to college. <laughs> and again, I had, a, I had a chance to play soccer in college, which... You know, as a soccer player yourself, you knew that was, you know, we wanted to do that. So um, I decided to, to go to school, got my degree, again, played soccer, had a great time. Um, great senior year, by the way. Yeah, great senior year. We played each other. We did. <laughs> yeah, so that was a good game. Yeah. Um, who won? Who won? But, uh, they did. His senior score? year. Yeah. No, uh, I didn't score that game. All right, all right. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah. it was his fault. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, graduated, you know. Got, got stuck in the rat race for a couple of years, and I was just like, you know what, I'm, I'm gonna pull the trigger. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna join, um, figuring out what branch I wanted to do. Like, you know, for a while I wanted to be a Navy SEAL, right? Like, yeah. you know, um, so what, what, kind of, what made you want to be a Navy SEAL? Like, what was it um, about that? It was, they, were, they were famous. Yeah, okay. They, they, they were. Um, in, the, in the 90s, they, they, they got, you know, a lot of publicity, and um, if you wanted to be a badass, that's, you going to be a Navy SEAL, that. right? That's it's like Marines and Navy SEALs. That's, that's, yeah. that's, yeah. that's what you wanted to do. Yeah. Um, my dad's buddies, a couple of them were in the, the military, and they were like, oh, no, do this, do that, blah, blah, blah. You have a degree, be an officer. Um, so I, I kind of took their advice because I, you know, I thought maybe that was the right thing. And I joined the Army National Guard and tried to you know, become an officer at, at the time. And I did that for like two or three months and hated it. Really? And quit. That was right. the first thing I ever quit in my life. Um, but like I knew that that was not for me. I was like, yeah. I don't want to be an officer in the military, right? They they do paperwork. Yeah. That's why I left corporate yeah, America. Right. Yeah, exactly. I don't want to yeah, do exactly. paperwork not anymore. Cup of tea. Yeah. No. Yep. Yeah. I want to shoot guns. I want to blow shit up. Yeah. I, want to, I want to have some fun. That's what you see um, on TV. That's what every guy right, kind exactly. of wants to do. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So you know, I I you know became enlisted guy. Mm -hmm. I was I was an E four. I was in the Connecticut National Guard. Um, I was doing a couple like good things, and then um, they had a tryout for the the special forces, um, and I went and made it. Really. And now then, with the special forces, when you saw that there was a tryout for that, were you drawn to that, or did you kind of do any kind of research before that? Oh no, I was drawn to that, and I, I wanted to do that right away when okay. I joined. But yeah. like my dad's buddies were telling me not to do it. They're like, no, uh, don't do that. Be an officer. Yeah. You know, yeah. you'll, you'll get paid more. Or do okay. All, that. all right. Know, yeah. Yeah. That's and again, that's that's our parents' generation. We're you know right thinking about money, not thinking about money. Right. Yep. Yeah. Um. So that's that's the route I went. Um. And. Then the next five years of my life was doing, doing, doing that again. I that was the trial before the trial. Yeah. So then there's an actual um, assessment that you have to go to that is a ball buster. Right. Like an absolute ball buster. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so then, then you pass that, and then you have to go do a bunch of other schools, and then you have to go to the qualification course, which is two years long. So where, was, where was that? That's at Fort Bragg, in okay. North Carolina. Okay. So, um, and you know that was that was just um, it was a great experience. Right. Um, again, I met a lot of great guys. Yeah. And everywhere you go in the military, it doesn't matter if you're a cook, a truck driver, or you're in special operations. It doesn't matter what branch you're in. Yeah. You're gonna meet some amazing people, all walks of life that you would never meet anywhere That's else, awesome. and you go to places that you would never go. Right. <laughs> it's like a brotherhood too. Like you, 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 oh, exactly. Because it's just you guys for such a long time mm -hmm. and you're doing intense training. Well, that yeah. was my next question. So you have like, it, it is like a brotherhood, right? But like the environment, I'm assuming is extremely intense. Oh yeah. So do you have to develop a certain mentality to kind of like get yourself adjusted to that environment? Uh, yes. 
you, know, you definitely do. It's, um, again, similar to being a college athlete yeah. in terms of being physically fit. Yeah. Right? Like, you have to train morning, then you, you know, do your, your work in the military, and then you have to train at night. So yeah. it's either you're doing strength in the morning or cardio in the morning, and then switching it up, like, at night, and then diet. Right. Is, is, is a big thing because when you're working out that much you need more calories right you can't just be eating salads trying yeah. to like lose True. weight and yeah. you know a lot of a lot of protein um but the food there pretty good was it yeah pretty pretty good um but i mean depending where you are you don't have to eat like their food okay all the time. that's true yeah but probably. sometimes if you're in the field if you're in the woods then they're stuck yeah. eating right. whatever you brought or whatever they're giving you yeah, <laughs> yeah. so um yeah now take us down the route because you decided to become a Green Beret? Green Beret, yep. So that's the U.S. Army Special Forces. Oh, okay. So in, in the grand scheme of the U.S. military, right, you have special operations, okay. and then you have each branch has their own special operations force. So in the Army, there's two. You have the Army Rangers, and then you have the Army Green Berets. Okay. So, um, and the Navy is... Navy SEALs, right? right? Okay. We're the we're the we're the same tier as as them, um, you know. Tier tier three, tier two supports tier one, and tier one are the gotcha. secret squirrel guys that no one ever talks <laughs> about. Right, um, right. So, yeah, but so how how was that experience now going? You know, becoming a Green Beret. Like, was there at that point? I'm sure you were working towards that for a while. Then then what was that like after you kind of reached that pinnacle, right? So what did you have to go through after that? So. Once you, once you, you know, don the green beret, yeah. as, as they say, it, it only gets harder from there. Really? Right. So like you, you get to a team, and that like you, one you have to earn your spot, mm -hmm. and two you have to keep it. Right. Really? So you have to you have to be able to prove that you you can do your job. Right. Right. Um. So every every time you're going you're doing training every time you're you're out doing stuff what you know jump on a plane as we do all you have to prove that you're supposed to be there right yeah right so and you have to be physically fit and mentally fit as yeah, well say mentally probably even yeah you know just as much yeah yeah all the time so yeah um i mean two years ago we do this this training exercise um and it's it's a month long in the middle of of, of nowhere and you have like no phones you're cut off from from everything um that's and wild. that's it's 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 tough. Yeah. yeah. Right. Like I, I would get the phantom vibration of my phone and my oh, pocket, yeah, yeah. or like you know the phantom vibration on my wrist. I'm like, yeah. oh, someone's no, no one's texting. No one's right. Yeah, Nobody's yeah. texting. Me. <laughs> I'm like, crap. Um. So you know, and then you know, it's it's long long hours. Right. Um. You know, there's always night shifts. Yeah. Right. It's not like oh, you know, it's dark out. And no one's fighting now. Yeah. yeah right. Mean, like sometimes you're 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 up for days yeah really and mm -hmm. that's 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 the 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 stuff that really strains you mentally yeah um where you're like not thinking straight yeah so now when you have a group of people that aren't thinking straight sometimes it's like okay he's not really doing so well so i'm gonna pick up his slack a little bit yeah right right let him get some sleep then when he wakes up then he'll you know kind exactly. of do that for me and that's why you know being being a good teammate yes yeah. is, is, is is all about yeah um because you that that'll definitely happen for sure so what did you do to stay mentally sharp um honestly just focus focus yeah. Yeah. on my job yeah focus on my focus on my team and um do you, you have any outlets like there that you use to kind of help you with that so not really okay right and that's the that's that's the tough thing yeah um but if if you have a strong family things back home mm -hmm. that you know that is you know that they're they're supporting you yeah. and you can always just revert back to okay i'm doing this for my family right right they're gonna be, they're gonna be proud of me um you know this is this is for my country yeah right? yeah it's a it's a it's that's, that's, a, like, that's a big deal and i take that like at the flag right there yeah, right for, yeah. for a reason yeah. um when i i look at that i look i see something different than in most than, right than most yep. I, I i do yeah. um but it's it's a good thing. Yeah, it is. Sure. You know, and again, I'm only in the in the guard part part time now. Yeah. But war kicks off. 
yeah. who do you think's going? Exactly, yeah. right. Yeah. 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 And you keep that kind of in the back of your mind all the time? Like, it, it's always there for you, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, my, my, my family knows. Yeah. Again, my, my, my girlfriend knows that. Yeah. Right? Like, we had that conversation early on. Yeah. Where it's like, hey, it's you know, possibility. Yep. Something, something kicks off. I'm yeah. not going to, oh, I can't. I can't go. Yeah, I'm right. I'm getting yeah. married. Right? Yeah. It's not, like, yeah. it's not not how it works. Exactly. You know? You know? So we talked about how you are now part owner of Bare Bones Boxing. Yeah. So can you take us through how boxing, how you were first introduced to boxing, and how that's played a role in your life? Yeah. So um, again, a, a kid I grew up with um, and that I played soccer with, Jimmy got me into boxing. He, he brought me to another boxing gym at the time, and he was like, hey, do you want to take a boxing class? And I was like, yeah, I do. Super <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, again, right. as a guy, it's like, oh, yeah, of course, I want to try yeah. something, right? Yeah. Uh, it's, not kar- it's not karate, I'm not yeah. standing there, you yeah. know, kicking a board. It's, uh, you know, I'm hitting a bag, it's kind of kind of tough. So I went, I, I, I loved it right away. Um, and I was also playing soccer at the time. I thought I was in the best shape of my life. And I quickly realized I was not. Like, I was in good running shape, Yeah. right? running sub five minute miles like I was I was pretty fast um, but once I started taking those classes and then I jumped into the ring and my first three minute round like I could not lift my arms and I could not breathe <laughs> That's and I wild. was like and that was in shape of soccer, so yeah, it's, wild. yeah. It's, it's different when you're in front of somebody yep. and now they're throwing punches at you right yeah. and now you have to defend yourself and throw back yep um, so and you're processing which which is going to obviously raise your heart rate too like, no you're, you're not thinking, processing right? anything no it's not yeah. it's you're survival? not it is yeah. like yep fight really? or flight oh yeah okay. that's like, you you black out oh, okay you, that, that, right. those first couple times like unless you're unless you've been there before right it's 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 tough like you know that those those nerves you talk about yeah. mm-hmm. right doesn't matter who i'm sparring i could be sparring a 14 year old kid that's never sparred before but yeah. i'm like yeah, yeah, right, yes. right. Uh, you know, I get the <laughs> shake just because my adrenaline's like pumped up. Yeah. Um, you don't you don't start learning yeah. how to control those thoughts yeah, until you. you get more experience. Interesting. Okay. Um, that is. So, um, I started incorporating boxing into all of my workouts because I knew it was it was super beneficial. Yeah. And um, again, went back to school, came home, got a membership, started like taking boxing a little more seriously and then um I, I started getting in really really good shape and I started seeing it when I was like working out running doing all that stuff I was like this is easy yeah you know um like this, stuff that used to be harder now it could be boxing. harder right and like I you know back then I didn't have all this muscle I was skinny yeah. I was freaking just light lightning fast but I was I was light right. I was like 100 Right. Max, um, and so when I went back to school, um, that first day of preseason, like I'm running around. My coach always knew I was fast and in shape, but he, he came up. He was like, "You're in shape now, huh?" And I was like, "Yes." He's like, "What are you doing?" He's like, "Boxing." He's like, "Get the fuck out of here!" He's <laughs> like, "Why would you want to do that? You want to get hit in the face?" And I'm like, "Kind of." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want to hit someone else in the face. Yeah. I want to get hit in the face. It's, right. There's there's something about getting getting hit and realizing you're not made of glass yeah yeah and it it just it boosts your confidence up now i'm not saying it gives you the feeling where like now you can go out there and just kick it yeah exactly yeah that's that's not what i'm saying but i'm saying you know especially as a as a man i i can get punched in the face and i'm not gonna break right unless mike tyson's hitting me yeah right right, yeah you know um so that kind of that kind of leads me to a question i was thinking about is you taught me what me and my buddy Bill many years ago, yeah. around like eight, eight or nine years ago, I had gone to the original Bear Horse Box and you were a coach. Yeah. And so as soon as I went there, you you know you were chatting me up and stuff. And you're like, hey, I'm gonna show you how to throw a punch. Now I thought I knew how to throw a punch. Okay. But it was all arms. And you taught me how to properly throw a punch, which was night and day. Yeah. So my you question use, like, is here all these muscles. Do you think everybody know how to throw a proper punch. Now, men and women. Yeah, I, I, I think it's very beneficial. Yeah. I mean, you know, there's, there's, you know, the, the world's a crazy place right it's now. It's true, right. And, you know, I don't think anyone should be getting in fights all the yeah. time, but 
muggings, all those right, things. The self right, the self-defense factor comes into play. Defense. But there is, yeah. there is a sense, too, like you have an, like a sense of confidence that you're like, hey, yeah. if I need to throw a punch, I know that I can throw a punch. Me, it also me becomes right. instinct, too. And I remember when I first started boxing, um, again, me and my friends were just like messing around one day. Yeah. And my buddy, like, hit me super hard on the chest like that, and it was just instinct, like, said, whack, right, right. Just, just came out of nowhere, <laughs> yeah. and I just, I hit him right in the face, and he started bleeding, I just like, he's like, dude, and I'm like, yeah. sorry, I was like, right? it was yeah. literally just yeah. reaction, it just, yeah. it just happened, right, right. Um, and, you know, would I rather have that and not, yeah, then, yeah, yeah. I would rather have that. <laughs> but of course you're saying, not go get into fights. Don't yeah, exactly, fight. yeah, disclaimer, you know, right? Yeah, saying, don't hey, look for trouble. Come right. to Airbus Boxing, you'll throw you out of the Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? Exactly. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. So, so first off, awesome new place here. Like, we're, we're super fortunate Thank to be you. here. Thank you for having us again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. I'm glad you guys can come. Again, this is the third day we've, we've, we've been open. Um, I, I, I walk in, I'm still like, blown away of how, how, it, how it came out. Yeah, so, yeah. Kudos to you guys, man. It's incredible. You. How how has being a co-owner of a place like this, how how's that shaped you? How's that changed you as a person? Um, well one, just owning your own business yeah. and operating it at the same time is, is, is a lot of work. Um, so I I kinda see this as my baby yeah. now. So when like I make decisions of like doing things, I'm like, okay, you know, do I really wanna go this direction or like, you know, how do I how do I do this? So like I really have to think about these and again i have a i have a great business partner so we 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 talk about things and we sometimes aren't on the same page yeah but like we don't argue about them we we just we we talk about them it's like hey you know let's weigh both these options Mm -hmm. okay hey we do the same stuff yeah Yeah. it's and that's that's how good partnerships work right so um it's it definitely taught me how to um i guess see a different perspective Mm -hmm. than you know when my partner says something and I'm like right away I'm like oh no I don't want to do that yeah and I'm yeah. like okay hold on let's yeah. let's think yeah. about this right uh, a, a little bit so you know just it taught me to work well with with someone else especially when I have so much invested yeah um you know it's it's I, I would say different than like the military hierarchy right where it's mm-hmm. like this guy's telling me what to do yeah I do it I tell this guy what to do yeah. and then you, you go down um, the special operations is a little different because we can operate you know, on, on our own, yeah, a, a lot. But again, there's still, you know, yeah. that that one guy that's in charge. Right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's huge too. That each of you have your own voice. You can share your own thoughts. And maybe it's a shitty that idea, but you get those shitty ideas out because you know what? It's gonna lead to a good idea. Yeah. yeah. You know, that's oh no. Huge. That's it does. Huge. totally. I mean, again, we we did this together. So how was that process? Like, did you guys like have something where you're like, okay, I'm envisioning this here, I'm envisioning this here, or did it? You have to see a space first to then actually get an idea. I'd imagine, right? Yeah. So yeah, we we looked at a you know a couple different spaces. Yeah. This was um, an office building, so it was a bunch of cubicles, mm. a bunch of different offices, and um, so it was again. I, I knew, or I know what I what I had over there, yeah. and I knew kind of what I wanted to be different. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we we kind of planned it out a little bit. Um, I was kind of almost trying to hire someone to be like, hey, put this here, do this, mm-hmm. like, you know, design, design, design yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. And every time we tried to do that, it really didn't work out. Mm-hmm. Because I was like, well, no, that doesn't make sense. Why, why would I put the treadmill there? It's in yeah. the middle of nowhere, right. you know what I mean? Something yeah. like that. So I quickly realized that it was, okay, maybe I know what I want and I should just do it yeah and now again we did have a lo- lot of help like color scheme and again working with the new upgrade new, yep. new logo yeah thank you um so we, we did have a lot of help in in, in that aspect so i don't want to take away from you know the people that did help but again a lot of it was just just us yeah so um and how did that opportunity present itself to you know purchase fair boxing so i i got off um active duty in 2020 moved home mid covid um the gym the old gym was closed for four months just like anything else um down south though covid was different 
Yeah. Right? Like, you went to Myrtle Beach, there was no COVID. <laughs> okay, I got you, right. Yeah, there was, there was yeah. no COVID. Yeah. Um, up here, like, everything was shut down. Yeah, right? yeah. Um, so, again, the owners and I were, were good friends. I worked there for a while. I was, I was a member there before I even started working there. And um, they were like, hey, look, like, we're, we're done. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're done. We uh, well, no, no. They were surviving. It was just they were they were burnt out. Right. They were, yeah, they were oh, older. Okay. You know, yeah. sixties yeah. plus. They did their time, right? They did their time, yeah. and they they were they were ready ready to move on. Um, they had the opportunity to sell it to a lot of other people, um, but they they left it to me because I, I think they knew I was going to do the right thing. Yeah. Right. Um, again, passionate about boxing, passionate about helping people. Um, this this isn't like a social thing for me where mm-hmm. some other people that's all it was mm-hmm. right right and you know i want to i want like this is my livelihood now yeah, for yeah, the most right. part right like you know i have to be able to make money pay the rent um survive but still do all those great things right, right. help exactly. help people um so that's that's important and you know they 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 left it to me and gave me that opportunity mm-hmm. so awesome. i was uh, i was happy about that that's great so, tell me about like the goal or the mission of like bare bones boxing now. Like, do you do you foresee like what is what is the main mission you see in your mind for bare bones? Yeah. So, I mean, our, our, our mission is just to one get ourselves out there. Yeah. Because yeah. we know how beneficial these workouts are. Um, 100%. And, and 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 two, just just to have have people use this place as, as their outlet. Yeah. Right. Um, mental health, huge, huge concern for everybody, not just not just kids, not just older people. Mm-hmm. You know, before it was just like a military thing, right? Where you know suicide is a huge thing, yep. people coming back from war. Um, but it's everybody struggles. It doesn't matter, um, you know, who you are. You're struggling with something. Like we were talking about before, family, finances. Um, those are those are two big ones. Um, work yeah. you know those yep. are those are those are big things especially when you can punch shit too it's quite a relief <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It, it is it's true yeah there's, there's there's nothing like wrapping your hands strapping the gloves on and just hit hit in the bag yeah you know, right and it doesn't doesn't really matter who's telling you how to do it mm-hmm. doesn't matter what music is playing yeah sometimes those come into play but you had jay-z on earlier which which is great so i mean that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's, you know, <laughs> yeah gotta you know those those do come into play sometimes yeah, yeah. but um o- overall it doesn't matter once once you can you can you can hit those bags over there and just you know let, let it all out yeah um it's 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 a huge relief and just a reset yeah absolutely. right Af- after like you know working out regularly does that too right mm-hmm. releases endorphins mm-hmm. You're lifting weights, or you're running, like you know, you get the runners high, all all that kind of stuff. Um, <clears throat> but it's a little different here. It is different. It, it is. is different. Um, doesn't matter, male, female, young, old. Um, we have we have it all here. I have a. Um, <clears throat> we we do a rock steady program for yeah. Parkinson's patients. Oh, that's awesome. And uh, you know, some of them are like 86, 87. Um, they come here. They just love it. They love it. Yeah, they hit incredible. the bag, and they're doing the same thing that everyone else is doing. It's yeah, just yeah. you know catered a little differently right. toward the the disease that they're fighting. But you know that's that's a that's a, a huge benefit for them, and that's one of the more rewarding things. I was just gonna say that like talk about like having a purpose in this place, right? Yeah. Like that that right there says it all. Yeah, that's awesome. And then you know we 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 have a kids program. We have a. Um, Eight, eight to thirteen year old kids program. They have they have kids class, and then I have a huge group of fourteen to you know early twenties that are like amateur fighters. Um, you know, one kid uh, I had, you know, he lost a hundred pounds, and I don't want to take credit for that. I, I really don't because that was him, right? Right. He he put in the work. He came here every day except for the weekends, but he yeah. was here Monday through Friday. And again, he's, he's 14, he's in school, right? Yeah. Right. But he was in, I think he started here last October. So it's almost been a year, but every day. And he's like, Hey, what, what, what do I eat? 
How do I? How do I? You know, just asking so me all these mm -hmm. all all yeah. these all these questions on top of taking class, strength training, started sparring, right, right, right? and now like it is like night and day. Like you saw the pictures, yeah, it yeah. is just it's inspiring. Um, inspiring. Like you know, he's he's gonna he's gonna compete. In, in September for his for his first time, so we, we got a lot of work to do still. But um, so, what do you think made him fall in love with boxing? Did he see that it was something that he could become good at, and he saw himself grow? So he came here at, in in the kids program, okay. right? So he started taking the the, the kids class, um, <coughs> and I I think that. Like most other people, when they walk into this this environment, right? It's just the mere fact of being here. They're like, this is, this is it. Yep. Yeah. This is, I, I, I love this, yeah. Yeah. right? I might not be a professional boxer. I might not ever even step in the ring, mm -hmm. but this is this is it, yeah. Yeah. right? Um, so once he started learning technique, like we were talking about before, learning the proper punches, how to throw, this confidence, Mm -hmm. Started coming up, and yeah. you know, I'm not saying he's cocky, right? Because he's yeah. not yeah. at all. Um, but his 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 confidence is is is, is getting up, and like I see him hit the bag sometimes, and I'm like, that's gonna hurt somebody. Yeah, yeah. I Any can't friend wait. You're thinking about, I can't like, wait. Yeah. <laughs> right? His progression is to you like, man, like six months ago, that wasn't like that. Four months yeah. ago, wasn't well, like that. Right? Again, like, he was almost 300 pounds, and he's not tall. He's like five four, I think. He's okay. he's, he's you know. He, he's not a not a tall kid, but he used to be 300 pounds. That's wild. So yeah. now that he's learning how to throw those proper punches, yeah. he still has all that, that muscle power, right? and yeah. that power from carrying all that weight. Yeah. So um, you know, we have uh, another another um, goal weight to meet for his for his fight. Okay. He's got another like eight pounds, which shouldn't be too he's hard close. for for uh, like another five weeks or so. Yeah. Um, but. You know, it's it's a good feeling. That's cool. Man. Um, and again, I you know I, I'm just happy to be a part of that, yeah. right? Again, I don't want to take away anything that because he he's doing it, yeah. right? But I'm happy that I was giving him the environment, and you know I'm showing him a little bit. Like that's 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 what does it for me. Yeah. yeah. So doing doing that stuff, and then helping the the, the Parkinson's fighters, you know, and just the regular people, yeah. right? Like I have a girl, she's been here a couple weeks. The end of class we do core work and she's like I, I i did the class the whole time this time that's you know, I, I was able to do it the whole yeah, time right. i didn't have to drop to my knees and i'm yeah. like that's what's up right i was like i told you higher, i told yeah. you yeah. you could you could do it it's not yeah. that hard yeah. right, right? Yeah. i mean it's hard yeah but oh, for sure right. in a good yeah. way yeah but you're you know? pushing people yeah you're, you're getting them uncomfortable and they're gonna grow mm -hmm. you know exactly I mean, that's huge yeah and you know i saw like the jeffrey story IG yep. and I personally was inspired because it's like man that is amazing mm -hmm. so I'm hoping that other kids even adults can see that yeah that this kid just didn't settle he didn't give up he's right. like you know what I'm gonna change yeah who I am mm -hmm. I'm gonna change what I look like and this was the perfect place yeah you know? no so I give you guys a lot of credit and Jeffrey as well yeah, he, yeah I mean he's a great kid too yeah. right yeah. it's 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 easy to help a kid like that mm -hmm. That, that 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 wants to do it right yeah it's, it's, it's embracing the challenge right it's yeah. it's hard when you have you know a spoiled kid a kid that doesn't listen mm -hmm. or a lazy kid yeah. um because you know we have a lot of those too yeah um, like everywhere right right everywhere yep. um and it's just it's it's it, the way they were brought up in the generation now mm -hmm. where you know everything's easy or they know everything of, yeah, I yeah, mean, like, I think you're like that too. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. But like, yeah. yeah, it's, but it's a different, it's a different kind of mentality that he seems to have. You know no. what I mean? Oh, so. for sure. And you can't, you can't teach that stuff. Yeah. Um, my my college coach, you know, I talked to him from from time to time, and I remember this was this was years ago, even. Um, so it was like three, four, or five years after college, and he's like, Clayton, and he's like, I, I don't know what it is. He's like, but these kids have no heart. <laughs> Right, and you can't, you can't teach you can't teach her, yeah. right? You can't yeah. teach her. Like, I just I remember being that that kid that was like okay at soccer, mm -hmm. right? But I had heart, right? Right, yeah. and my coaches all knew it. Yeah. Like, oh man, 
I wish I wish that kid was better. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you right, know right. because you you would go all the way. Yeah. Right. And you know you always wish oh I wish I was better at this I wish I was better at that. Um. So it's that's those athletes that make it to that 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 top tier yeah. and they're the best of the best. Yeah. And that's one reason. Yeah. Right. That they they have they have that heart and the ones that are that skilled yeah. but don't have it they might not make it all the way up there. It's right. true, man. It's you know? true. It is. And so, you know, I, I gotta be honest with you, man. I give you a lot of credit because you did leave corporate America. I am still in corporate America. My goal is to leave corporate America. Yep. But for people that are, you know, trapped in that game, where it's like, hey, you have a 401k, it's safe, if you will. Yeah. And let's be real, this was risky having you open your own place. Uh, taking the gym post-COVID. Yeah. Super risky. Yep. So if yeah. you had anybody like a recommendation or anything, words of wisdom to someone that's maybe in that rat race of being a corporate American, like, man, I really want to leave, but I don't know what to do. What would you say to them? Um, I would, I would say, I mean, find something you're passionate about that can support you financially, mm-hmm. right? That, I mean, that's a big thing, right? right? Um, especially for people that have families, have kids to support. Um, you know, you can't just be a exactly right yeah right like you know i i i i if that's a hobby like yeah. great but like is is that going to pay the bills right or you know you know that's 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 a big thing um again for, for for me um i knew i wanted to serve a higher purpose in, in the military and not just again to do uh, a regular job in in the army when i when i joined um so i I took that 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 next step, yeah. and I'm I'm so happy I did. And I had, I had some people that mentored me, yeah. and you know that's 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 kind of how it goes when you when you find someone that's done it, mm-hmm. and you talk to them, and they're like, hey, like you know, you sure you want to do this? And mm-hmm. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I fucking do. Like, yeah, I, I know I can do it. Right, yeah. right. Um, physically, I I knew I could do it. Yep. Me- mentally, yeah. um, and. Doing, doing all of those all those tryouts and all those trainings, you you get to the point where you're like, should I quit? <laughs> yeah, you right. Know? Yeah. It, yeah. yeah, seriously, it, yeah. It, it happens. It like and it's designed that way. Yep. Yeah. It is designed that way because the people that do, we don't want them. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. It's true, you, man. You, you don't yeah. you don't want them. Mm-hmm. So, um, you know when 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 I I made it and again I didn't realize but it just got harder mm-hmm. after yeah. that. Yeah, it did. And yeah, when you want to get promoted, you have to do something else and just yeah. keep going. So, um, I just knew that's what I wanted to do. Yeah. So then, you know, when I got home and the whole boxing gym kind of presented itself and it mm-hmm. worked out that way, I just kind of got lucky. Yeah. I I, I did, but um, you know, I, I I think just the the path that I chose, just going going that 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 route with the army, kind of led me in this direction. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Um, you know, everyone's everyone's different, but I would find that one thing yeah. that you're you're passionate about yeah. and try and make make that your your, your career. Yeah. If you can. Sometimes it's it's not a it's not attainable. Yeah. You know, yeah. but if 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 you have the will Yeah. Yeah, because you can't fake the passion part. No. You can't fake that. So like the long days, the long nights, all the stresses, right, all the hard work, yeah. all the all the money, right? Like yeah, because you're passionate one. about about it to sacrifice all those things. Oh yeah, you know what I mean. So, and it seems like to me, I mean, I just met you here what an hour and a half ago for the first time, and or so so we said. You, you think? Yeah, you, I think I met you somewhere else. I don't know, <laughs> but but it seems like you know. Just, we just, played in the parking lot. Of yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it was like, you know, the way the way you came up with with college sports. I've seen the army, all, all their, the service, and all that, and now into what you're doing now with, with the gym and in boxing, it's like you you said you can't teach art, but you, you taught yourself a mentality, it seems like. You know, yeah. and you have that, that kind of cutthroat mentality of like, nah, I can do it and I'm gonna make it happen. You yeah. know what I mean? And that's like the fighter's mentality that, that we kind of coined this episode as, right? Yeah. So, you know, you, we, you talk about not being able to teach art, but do you try to incorporate that a little bit into here with people who walk through your door too? Kind of like, it's a mentality here. Oh yeah, I mean, Again, our, our our classes are intense yeah. on, on, on purpose. Yeah. Right? They're 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 to push people, right? You you can't push yourself to that point of exhaustion or exhaustion on your own. Um, you need someone to, to to bring you to that next step. 
Um, some people, they, they come to these classes and they do the bare minimum and they leave. Mm -hmm. And again, they got their, their, their fix, yeah. they, they did it, yep. and that's all they're using it for. And again, that's that's great. That's yeah. that's that's the level that they want to be at. But if I can find that one person that's like, okay, I I don't know if, if I can do. Okay, I'm gonna do it because he's telling me how crap right, I'm right. doing yeah. it. You know, then <laughs> that's that's what I look for. Yeah. Right. And I know, like, I know everyone in this gym. Yeah. Right. And like, I'm not the best with names. I'm trying. Yeah. Right. But I try to greet people and whatever. And you know, when I see someone new. You know, I'll go over and be like, okay, let's see, you know, I'm, I'm yeah. screaming in their face, kind of, like, yeah. you know, again, kind of the military style, but yeah. not really, but I'm still kind of loud in there, yeah. and, um, to get the most out of it. yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly, and that's, that's what that fighter mentality is, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then it translates over to the, to the ring, yeah. right, where there's plenty of people that tell me that they, they want to spar, mm -hmm. and I'm like, okay, but sparring is a big pain in the butt, because it, it, it takes time. I need to have I need to have a coach here, observing, mm -hmm. right? So it doesn't get out of hand. Um, and yeah, you know they need equipment. They need mouthpieces. They, they need. Right. They, it, it takes a lot of time. Yeah. And I don't want to waste my time right. because it's super valuable, mm -hmm. especially here when I could be helping somebody. But yeah. now I'm messing around with this kid in class. Right. So <laughs> or a kid in the ring. So. I don't like to throw people to the wolves, as they yeah. say, where I'm like, oh, hey, go spar the best guy I have in the gym, right? right? Because I don't want to kick his ass. Yeah. But I, I, I can't take it easy on him to the point where, like, he's, he's not getting better. He's not, he, well, he, he also doesn't know what it's like to get punched in the face yeah. Yeah. now, yeah. right? It's where, like hit back. Right, now, again, you know, 14 year old that weighs 110 pounds, I'm not going to hit as hard as I can. Yeah. But when it's, you know, a 25 year old who's, 200 pounds yeah. and I'm like okay we're we're gonna spar yeah right and he's he's an athlete he's strong he's big and he's trying to take my head off yeah what do, what do I do am I right. not gonna hit him yeah I'm yeah. gonna hit him yeah right yeah. and you know I I've, I've done that time and time again and people are like oh man like you, you caught me really good I was like you were trying to hit me as hard as you could <laughs> we, to we just, yeah, we just sparring, talked about right? this like, like hey let's 50 percent 75 percent and yeah. you're just yeah, and I'm yeah. like, oh, okay, so I'm yeah. gonna go through that. You learn today. <laughs> bing, bing, boom, yeah. you know? Yeah. Here's a combination. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, but I want to make sure that, you know, they, 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 they have that. And like, sometimes right away they don't. Yeah. yeah. Right. But other times yeah. you kind of have to almost beat it into that. Yeah. Sure. Right. right. Yeah. Where it's like, okay, now it's, now You're it's teaching, you know? the, it the right. basic instinct yeah. of, okay. I'm, I'm getting punched in the face now. What do, what do, what do, what do I do? I gotta, yeah. I gotta fight right. back. Yeah. Um, so, but it's, it's, it's cool to see that that progression. Doesn't yeah. matter who it is, males, females, mm -hmm. um, young, old. So yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Man. That's great. Yeah, dude. Honestly, I love your fire. <laughs> Thanks. Now, and you said something earlier where it's like, you know, I, I got lucky in this place. But you put good out in the world, man. Mm -hmm. And our belief is, you put out good in the world come back to you. So, yeah. And I mean, we feel the sense of community here, man. We love it. We wish you nothing but the best. We know this place is going to be successful. We appreciate it. Yeah. Where can people find you? Uh, Barebones Boxing uh, on Instagram. Barebonesboxing.com. Yep. Check us out. Um, we do a free trial class. So you don't want to come in, try it, or just come in, walk around, check it out. Yep. Um, we, we'd love to have you guys. Um, you've taken class before, yeah. not the new facility though. Yeah. We'll so, do it though, I promise. Right. Yeah, yeah, you, for sure. you, you we'll haven't do. done it, yeah. so you guys, you guys got to try it out. But yeah, yeah, appreciate yeah that. New facility's down here uh, in East Hartford on Silver Lane. Yep, East Hartford. You can't on miss Silver it off the highway here. It's, it's a beautiful place. You can't guys. miss Come it. We're right next to uh, Ratchelor Field. Yep. Um, again, the first UConn games tomorrow, so nice. we're excited that <laughs> a bunch of people are going to be driving by. Yep. Um, you know, most Connecticut people are big UConn fans, so um, everyone knows that. Bare Bones is in East Hartford, but some people are hesitant to come in here. Yep. But I mean, we're we're a community here, we're a family, yeah. so love to have everybody. Awesome, yeah. man. Well, thank you again for having yeah, us. We you, appreciate man. you. Appreciate yeah, it. appreciate it, guys. Nice. Thank you. That a boy, dude. That's solid, dude. That's solid. That's good. That's good, dude.